Yes, a very good afternoon to all the people who will be attending your students. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Right. Yes. So today's class, uh, we are supposed to take the three-phase system. The three-phase three -phase system where we are supposed to solve the problems on the star-connected system as well as the delta-connected system. If you see the first two units, the first, the first unit is entirely regarding the DC circuits. Second unit is regarding the AC circuits. When it contains the AC circuit, we got single phase system as well as the three phase system. So one common question. So whether we are having six phase, 12 phase or not, any student, generally I'm asking. So we might, the entire polytechnic education, we might have came first. All students, please mute yourselves. I request all the students. So mute yourself. Any question is there, you can unmute, you can answer. Okay. Right. Good. All of you, please mute yourself. Right. So every electrical engineering syllabus or everywhere we see single phase system and three phase system. So whether we are having six phase system or 12 phase system or not, I'm just asking a common question. The answer is yes. I will tell you where, where we are going to use. Now, first, let us discuss what is the disadvantage of single phase system. Single phase system contains how many wires? Two wires. One is phase wire and neutral wire. The wire which carries the energy is called the phase wire. Of course, everybody knows. The single phase system cannot rotate heavy machines. If I'm taking single phase AC supply, if I'm connecting one huge heavy machine, then let us say lift, single phase system cannot move that particular lift. That's why we have to go for three phase system. Now, once common question, three phase system provides less electricity bill or single phase system provides less electricity bill. All of you think and tell me. We are adding C. Ah, very good answer. Correct answer is three phase. If in your house, if you are using three phase system, then 100% your electricity bill will be less when compared with the single phase system. I request uh, the students to mute yourself. Yes. Radhika and Kirtana, please mute yourself. Right. Kirtana also. Right. Good. So, being an electrical engineer, we should know which system is best suited, whether it is household purpose or for the industrial purpose. Even nowadays, in your house, let us say you are turning on the geyser, induction stove, boring machine, okay, iron box. What happens if at a time you are if you are using single phase system and you are turning on the geyser, iron box, the boring machine, all the heavy machines in your house, then short circuit condition might arise. So that's why even for the household applications also. The best suited system is three phase system. And remember, three phase system provides 15% greater, 15% uh, uh, 15 times more current than the single phase system. That means energy generated is 15 times greater than the single phase. So why we are not having two phase and four phase? Why it is not mentioned everywhere? Because this four phase system also people have done the research but the efficiency is very less when compared with the three phase system. That's why everywhere we go for single phase, domestic application, three phase. If you want to move extra high load machines, let us say I want to construct one flyover. We are bringing the huge cranes. Then what we do, we are going for the six phase system. So for extremely high mechanical loads, in order to drive that mechanical loads, we can go for the six phase system. Okay. So three phase system is used for the industrial load. Anyone tell me what is the industrial load? Industrial load will be example. You can tell lift system is one industrial load only. Okay. Okay. We'll come back to the later on that one. So three phase system, what is the definition? So first we start with the definition of the 
three phase system any student any guess regarding this one what is three phase three phase system practically contains three different three wires ah yes wires or windings which are displaced by an angle 120 rib yes rib okay so now let us see new new yeah neutral three phase four wire now you see all of you okay now you can see the animation over there tell me that is dc generator or ac generator anyone the animation what you are seeing is dc generator or ac generator ac sir ac sir it is ac so what is the disadvantage of dc generator for dc generator the conductor is rotating yes or no armature is rotating for dc generator so in the interviews they will ask you what is the main disadvantage of dc generator for dc generator as the conductors or armature is rotating if i want to connect one bulb that bulb also starts to rotate it is very difficult to connect the load that's why what engineers have done they have changed the construction of the ac generator in ac generator or synchronous generator what which is stator stator is armature conductors now if you are having the bulb you can connect directly the bulb to the armature windings so bulb will be constant but the uh, rotating part is nothing but the field magnets or the magnets okay so we you people know the uh, working principle of this generator we are not going in depth so three phase supply is generated by dash generator which generator synchronous generator in all the power plants we are having the synchronous generator synchronous generate inside that synchronous generator we are placing the windings three different windings which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees so they generate the three different voltages what are the values of that voltages everyone v is equal to vm sin omega t v is equal to vm sin omega t minus 120 and v is equal to vm sin omega t minus 240 as everybody know yes sir so three phase generator practically contains three different windings which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees so with equal magnitude they generate the electricity it is transmitted through the transmission line so if i want to represent the three phase uh, transmission line how to represent that three three phase transmission line or distribution line any guesses so three phase transmission line if you want to represent you are supposed to these are the pole connections if you see in the outskirt region you are going to have the three wire system okay if you see where the houses are present there you see the three phase four wire system right now tell me all of you uh, if you see this one this is which connection anyone guess three phase system we are saying okay three phase generator is generating electricity and that electricity is transmitted now i want to represent this pole connection and this wire connection transmission so we can easily represent by a three phase transmission system or three phase system easily can be represented by any guesses star or delta so let us concentrate on the star connection so why we are having the star you can see this one now i'll tell the definition of the star here any guesses anyone as you have done in polytechnic for star connection in star connection ah, yes I No, no. phase current is equal to load current that is a formula really yeah i appreciate that is a formula but if you see the connection here see the star connection uh, let us say this is 1 1 dash 2 2 dash 3 3 dash in star connection all the secondary ends are connected to the common point all students okay uh, all the in yes uh, all of you mute yourself whenever you are answering you unmute and immediately you mute okay sir so in how to recognize one connection is star in star connection all the secondary ends are connected to one common point okay now i will show you the diagram of the pole now the transmission line pole if you see this pole all the secondary ends are connected here so the primary and secondary for the transmission line also you see the third figure here the third figure for this pole you can say let us say this is r y b all the secondary ends are co connected to one common point therefore this connection wherever you see the pole and transmission line that connection is 100% star connected system so this transmission line we can represent by the 
star connected system i hope you understood all of you so near your house also you see the yes, pole sir. yes at the pole all the wires are connected to the common point of the pole so this connection is similar to the star connected system just a second okay delta also we see so star connected system is used for the long uh, distance purpose whereas the delta system so three this three phase system can be represented practically by the star and delta let us share this slide here wherever you are having the transmission lines the three phase transmission lines can be represented by the star or the delta so what is the basic difference between the star and the delta you can see here for the objective type so delta connections are used for the shorter distance and star uh, star connections can be used for long distances and delta connection is used for high starting torque so whenever we require high starting torque or rotational force we go for the delta connection so if you see the three phase induction motor three phase induction motor winding can be connected in delta because three phase induction motor that to slip spring not spiral case slip spring induction motor provides high starting torque its windings will be connected in the uh, delta connection okay wherever we require the less current starting current we can go for the star connected system that is a difference here but right now what is the topic we are supposed to derive the expression for relationship between line voltage and phase voltages for star as well as the delta so here if you see okay uh, which is the three phase load anyone as we are discussing three phase system so advantage of three phase system is three phase system provides more current than single phase system three phase system is able to move heavy machines example lift example huge cranes even the induction motor three phase induction motor requires which supply three phase supply you can see the three phase induction motor here we are having anyone what is the working principle three phase induction motor works on the principle of rotating magnetic field rotating Or, very good very good ordinary alternating magnetic field cannot rotate any type of motor so everywhere if you are rotating one particular ac motor you must generate the rotating magnetic field you can see it has got the stator and rotor so when stator is uh, powered with the supply rotating magnetic field is created rotating magnetic field rotates through the air gap between stator and rotor at, at a speed synchronous speed ns equal to 120 by b and it cuts the rotor conductors thereby uh, developing the necessary torque so we know this one so three phase load means what here it is 99% the industrial motor induction motor is the example any one one common question what is another name for induction motor guess all of you industrial motor induction what is another name for induction motor i am giving one hint off word i am giving transformer off word i am giving hint transformer rotating transformer the answer is rotating transformer so transformer if you see the induction motor secondary winding is short circuited for the induction motor therefore we say that the induction motor can also be called as the uh, rotating transformer so now let us move to our topic today so uh, so we are supposed to derive the expression for this star so why we are not supposed to represent the star and delta so all the transmission lines can be in real time can be represented by three phase system three phase system can be visualized and represented by star or the delta okay now everybody know this star okay now star connection nice so what is the definition of line voltage any student line voltage the voltage present between any two lines is called the line voltage 
and what is the root 3 times the phase voltage yes the formula is there but in general if you see this line if i am connecting one voltmeter between these two wires it will indicate the line voltage the pr voltage present between any two lines is called the line voltage now whereas if you are using the neutral wire the voltage present between any line and neutral is called the phase voltage the voltage present between any line and neutral is called the phase voltage right so let us move on to this one yes so star connected system has got the neutral point whereas the delta we are not having any neutral okay three phase voltages so three phase system practically contains three different windings which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees which are represented by star or delta three phase system is used to rotate heavy machines three phase system provides more energy than single phase system three phase system generates three different voltages which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees so this is what the point we are supposed to write three phase system provides three different voltages with equal magnitude but which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees right so if you see the line voltage in india is 400 volts 400 to 440 volts for domestic applications from uh, if you are combining any line and neutral we are going to obtain the 230 so first we'll take that relation how 440 is converted to 230 or 400 to 230 right. so we have to explain with respect to the vector diagram okay right. so we see that one all of you can simultaneously draw this diagram which we are going to show right now okay vector diagram explanation so it is three phase system relationship between line voltage and phase voltage for star connected system for only star first we are taking for the star yes we know the voltages here three different voltages we have done in the fault technique vm sin omega t vm sin omega t minus 120 now my simple question why ac signal is represented by sine can i write it as cot or cos or cosecant anybody answer why it is everywhere in all the textbooks everywhere v is equal to vm sine only the answer is any trigonometric function can be easily converted to sine function. We can also write cosecant Vm cosecant omega t or Vm cot omega t. Any trigonometric function, it can be easily converted to sine function. So the basic notation is sine. Even if you do the Fourier transform, Z transform, the application of Fourier and Z transform for the sine function is simple when compared with other trigonometric functions. Therefore, all the engineers, they assume and they represent only the sine value here. This is very important. Okay, can we write other trigonometry or not? Yes, but that trigonometric function will become compl complex in nature. Right, next one, we are just moving to this vector diagram. So everybody know the star connected system, this derivation we are supposed to prove. Even in the BTEC, you are having this particular derivation. Yes, uh, anyone please confirm me. In the polytechnic, have you just taken line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage formula or you uh, got the derivation? Only direct derivation. Direct derivation. Only derivation. Derivation was there. Okay. Okay. Derivation is there or only formula? Line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage. Derivation, derivation is, is there. Is there, sir. There, there. Okay, good, good. Okay, right. So it's the same derivation we are having right now and we take the problems on that derivation also. So how to start this explanation? So star connected system contains three different voltages which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Let Vrn, Vyn and Vbn be the three phase voltages which are displaced by an angle 120. If I'm not maintaining the angle 120, What's going to happen? We cannot create the rotating magnetic field or we cannot create the huge energy even if the angle is 180 degrees. That's why in the synchronous generator state or winding, three different sets of windings are placed by an angle 120 degrees. So very first explanation is introduction you can write what I have explained just now. Three phase system uh, provides more current than single phase system. Three phase system uh, provides more energy and can rotate heavy machines. Three phase system practically contains three different windings which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Three phase star connected system has 
or generates three different voltages which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Now let Vrn, Vyn and Vbn be the three different phase voltages represented as vectors. Okay. Now we require line voltage. How to obtain the line voltage? Anyone tell me? Line voltage is a vector combination of any two phase voltages. As line voltage is a vector combination of any two phase voltages, so start from the origin here and draw 180 degrees, draw a vector 180 degrees to Vyn. So we are just drawing a vector now, 180 degrees to Vyn, you can see now. So we must draw the vector here. So as it is 180 degrees, the reverse Vn, Y. Okay, or minus V by N, we can write at it as the vector is taken in opposite direction. So we got two different phase vectors here, but we are supposed to obtain the line vector, line voltage. So line voltage is a vector combination of two different phase voltages. So how to obtain the line voltage? Now step three we are going. Step one is three different voltage vectors. Vrn, Vyn and Vbn are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Start from the origin. Draw a vector 180 degrees to Vyn, which is step two. Step three, to obtain line voltage, as the line voltage is a vector combination of any two different phase voltages, start from Vny vector and draw a parallel vector and draw a vector parallel to Vrn. So start from Vny vector, you can see, and draw a parallel vector to Vyn. Okay, here we are drawing the parallel vector to Vrn, sorry. Similarly, start from Vrn and draw a parallel vector to Vny. Okay, so we are, because we are taking the resultant of these two. So start from Vrn and draw a parallel vector to Vny. So according to parallelogram law of vectors, so if two vectors are displaced by an angle, how to add those two vectors? Directly we cannot. We cannot add. So we must have the resultant of those two vectors. So the resultant is starting from the origin, combine the point of intersection of two phase vectors. So starting from the origin, the point of intersection of two different phase vectors obtains the line voltage. So VRY is the line voltage. So in this animation here, it should be VRN, not VRY here. So VRN minus VYN, or if you reverse that one, plus VNY. Okay, so now VRY is the vector combination of phase voltage Vrn and Vny according to parallelogram law of vectors. Okay, so this is okay now, but we have to bring the relation. So external examination also, no need to show each every, each uh, indication. You can stop your uh, diagram up to this point. Any one particular uh, phase voltage, you can take the result. End. Okay, I hope those three points are sufficient, right? Okay, now we move to the nested derivation, continuation. So what is the line voltage formula anyone here the resultant resultant is what here now let us say the angle between vbn and vrn is 120 the angle between vny and vrn will be the off of that one 60 now you see let us indicate the angle right so if you see the phase voltages are 120 but the here vny and vrn are displaced by an angle 60 we are taking the resultant of these two vectors so what is the formula for resultant here? Uh, line voltage Vry is equal to square root of Vrn square plus Vny square plus 2 into Vny and Vrn cos 60. 2 into cos 60. So we'll see that one. So in this expression, we have changed the V by E. So let us move to this one. Now you can see. So Vry line voltage or Ery equal to square root of E square Ny plus e square nr or rn plus 2 times 2 into both vectors cos 60 because the angle between those two phase vectors is 60. So all these vectors are nothing but phase vectors. So generally they are represented by pH and this is nothing but the line voltage. So e line voltage equal to square root of the phase voltages. So if you simplify this one directly, you can take common e square. Here also 2 e square you are going to get E square pH you take common, square root and uh, uh, this square get cancelled. Therefore, uh, overall expression is nothing but 1 plus, you are taking the common here, 1 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, so you are going to get the 
root 3. So line voltage equal to root 3 times the phase voltage. So from this one, what is the phase voltage now? Phase voltage equal to line voltage by root 3. So the same derivation which you have done, but once again in the engineering also, they will ask you to derive the relationship between line and phase voltage for this star connected system. Okay. But delta we will see later on. So here we have written the conclusion here. For star connected system, line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage, line current equal to phase current. For delta, it is the reverse. Line voltage equal to phase voltage, line current equal to root 3 times phase current. Okay. So now we just move to the problem, all of you. Be ready with the calcium. Okay, all of you? Okay. Question is visible now, now in the new slide. So three loads. Yes, yes, okay. Three loads, each of resistance. So all the loads are resist to load, let us say, are connected to a star, connected in star. The load is connected in star to a 415 volts, three phase supply, determine the system, phase voltages, phase current and the line current. Okay. So immediately, which system they are mentioning? Star system. So what is the formula for star connected system? All the students, line voltage equal to root 3 times the phase voltage. You can put here, you can see, line voltage equal to root 3 times the phase voltage. Okay. So, but phase voltage equal to line voltage by root 3. You can directly substitute here, 415 by root 3, you are going to get the 239 or 240. Meal time, you can simultaneously check with your calci the problem. So any problem with the star, if you see the star, you just... Uh, enter the formula star connected system so we are going to obtain the phase voltage okay and they are asking the phase current what is the formula for the current current formula is what i is equal to v by r if the load is only resist, yes if the load is resist to load if the load is induct to load i is equal to v by z here the load is resistance therefore ip is equal to vp by rp that is v by rp yes v by r directly are going to get the ideas for star connected system the line current equal to phase current therefore the line current value are going to get okay these are the jntu repeated problems okay previous year the same problems with solution we are showing right so let us move to the next one where the inductive load anyone tell me what is the example of inductive load resistive load means everybody can say bulb hmm. i'm asking one question geyser electric geyser is resistive load or inductive load? The load in which the winding dominates the resistance and the load in which magnetic field is maximum when compared with the heating effect. All the loads in which we see the heating effect is maximum, those loads are resistive loads. The loads in which... In tube light. Tube light, we are having choke coil. Yes or no choke. The starter is there. No? Inductor. Uh, yes, very good inductive load. One more question. Washing machine is which load? Inductive load, resistive load or capacitive load? Washing machine is 100% inductive, inductive load. Because you see, load. Yes, in washing machine is having the windings once again. That's why it is in circular shape. Okay, mixi. Mixi is which load? Resistive load, capacitive load or inductive load? Resist. No, mixi is all of you. Inductive load. Inductive load. Right? Inductive load. Yes, sir. Inductive so, load. Mixi is yes, hundred percent inductive load. Inductive load. Because yes, sir. Inside the mixi also we are having the windings. Mixi. Now I am asking boring machine. Boring machine is inductive load or capacitive load? Hmm. Resistive load. Boring machine. Boring machine also, we are having the windings. Wherever inductive load only, sir. Yes, inductive, inductive load. Good. Now, fan. In your house, you are having fan. It is inductive load or capacitive load? Capacity load. Capacity load. Okay, but see all of you, whenever you are having excellent XC values, okay? So, let us say I am showing you one circuit where inductor, capacitor and resistor is present. We cannot call it as RLC load. If the value of X C, capacitor reactance is greater than XL, then that load is called capacitor load. Here, if you see, if you open the fan and see, you will see the capacitor and inductor. 
but the capacitor value capacitance value is very much less when compared with the inductance of the fan so that's why fan is the best example of the inductive load understanding all of you so what is the capacitive load sir show me the capacitive load synchronous condenser you have studied in diploma synchronous condenser or variable capacitor yes yes sir yes, yes sir very good synchronous condenser is acting as the uh, is generates the reactive power it is used especially as the capacitive load we'll see that one but generally 99% of the loads are inductive in nature okay inductive in nature only the heating now you tell me geyser water heater i'm just putting up bulb means that uh, bulb orange uh, bulb which is thomas alva edison it is e resist to load only heat signal heat signal is generated now you tell me the water heater if i am buying one water heater we are going to heat the water okay it is resist to load or inductive load or capacitive load windings are not present means it is not a inductive load Ah. Resistive load, sir. Resistive load, sir. Perfect. Resistive load. Resistive load. Heating energy is dominating the magnetic field. Now, electric geyser. Geyser, geyser. Inductive load, sir. Geyser. Think all of you. Even if the winding. Geyser. Geyser heat energy. Resistive load, sir. Resistive load, sir. Geyser. Resistive load. Heat, yes. Heating yes. element is present. Heating element is present, and heat energy, heating effect is more than the magnetic effect. Okay, so uh, right, we are having now lift. Tell me lift. Inside the lift, we are using three phase induction motor. I am giving the hint. Lift is what type of load? Lift system. Hundred percent. I inductive inductive load inductive, inductive sir field, yes even if in the load if you see the presence of resistor inductor and capacitor we should see which one is dominating inductance or capacitor lift is also inductive load okay now we move on to the problem now very yes, good sir. very good all of you mute yourself see three identical coils means three windings each of resistance and inductance they are given so immediately when inductance is given we have to write the formula inductive reactance xl is equal to 2 pi f into l we are going to get the xl value okay so if in a problem xl value is greater than x then it is nothing but the inductive circuit or inductive load we can mention now are connected in star a bit so star means immediately what is the formula for the star line voltage equal to root 3 times the phase voltage so for this problem as resistance and inductance are given immediately we have to calculate xl xl just substitute and check with your calci also Here pi means not 180 in radians. In the calci, you have to enter shift logarithm to the base ten. You will get 3.14. Okay, don't get confused. Here the pi is nothing but 3.14. So substitute all of you. Tell me whether you are getting the same answer or not. Please check all of you. Yes, sir. 3.14 pi value. Uh, pi is 3.14. Okay, you can enter yes. directly or in the. Yes, hey, sir. Okay, logarithm to the base. Calci. 13.19. You are getting. Anybody substitute? Yes, sir. Thirteen point one nine one is. Yeah, right. Yes, 13. sir. Thirteen point nine one J. So impedance we know. Impedance is the vector combination of both the things. Therefore, Z is equal to root of R square plus X L square. You will get sixteen point five five. The total opposition. So the, what they are asking? They are connected in star first bit. Voltage is four fifteen. Determine total power dissipated. Okay. Anyone tell me what is the uh, formula for power generated? V into I, okay, okay. Power dissipated I square into R. Right. I square R. Ah, uh, power dissipated is I square R. Right. Okay, and the phase voltage. V square by P also. Ah, uh, yes, yes, right. So, and the phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root three, which is nothing but two forty volts. So, phase voltage. So, phase current equal to phase voltage by impedance. Initial problem only resistor was given. Now we are. I hope the letters are visible to everyone. Right. Okay. So phase current, we can calculate how much we are getting. Fourteen point five. In Calci, you check all the students simultaneously, just substitution only. So for star connected system, line current equal to phase current. Therefore, the answer is fourteen point five zero. All students. Yes, sir. Fourteen point five zero. Please mute yourself. Uh, we should never get any disturbance. Right. while giving answer you can unmute
so power dissipated so now one question so what is a three phase power formula ac power is p is equal to vi cos theta okay so what is cos theta anyone tell me okay i am just asking here power factor is there power factor formula is cos theta equal to resistance by impedance r by z power factor resistance by impedance okay cos theta equal to r by z so you can substitute here 10 by this impedance you'll get so i will tell you the real application of the power factor all of you power factor explains the quality of power transfer from source to the load if the power factor value is less in your house what's going to happen fan when it is rotating it creates this sound you might have observed certain times if the power factor flickering in the bulb very good very good what is the most economical power factor we should have value 0.8 0.95 is the economical power factor value and 0.8 is the practical value which all engineers are able to transfer right now okay so power factor explains the quality of the power power factor r by z the value okay so power dissipated so all students uh, there are two more problems which are direct substitution only we got less than 1 minute so what i will do that group mail is there in all of you so today's class and to that group mail i am going to send this particular document you can practice by seeing this one okay so substitute here power dissipated power dissipated value you will get this one root 3 vl because v phase i phase cos theta power formula 3 into v phase i phase cos theta as it is star connected system line current equal to phase current and uh, phase voltage equal to uh, root 3 times the vl Root three by Vl can substitute. So we are getting P is equal to root three Vl Il cos theta. If the link gets disconnected, any 